Dobra, więc witam serdecznie w kolejnym znakomitym odcinku z serii Genshin Impact. No i w dzisiejszym materiale przejdziemy na zupełnie nową część krainy tej Sumeru, a mianowicie do miasta Port Ormos, czyli do chyba drugiego największego miasta po tym Sumeru w tej nowej krainie. Więc proszę bardzo, portowe miasteczko, widać jakieś pierwsze statki. No i tak, mamy właśnie misję fabularną w tej oto lokacji, więc musimy to wszystko zwiedzić w bardziej szczegółowy sposób. Więc nie wiem, ciekawa kraina, widać, że widać mniej więcej już zarys tej całej... tego całego kontynentu. Możemy zauważyć, że to w tym miejscu się kończy. Może jeszcze w tym miejscu będzie jakaś dodatkowa kraina. Tak bym stawił jakiś będzie jeszcze inny update. Widziałem taką teoretyczną mapę w sumie jakoś wcześniej na podstawie fabuły. Rzeczywiście tam będzie jakaś jedna kraina, nie wiem, bardziej chyba w postaci jakiejś dżungli, dżungli przede wszystkim. Ale kiedy to zobaczymy to w sumie nie mam pojęcia. Może to będzie właśnie kolejny update, więc nie wiem. Dobra, muszę jakkolwiek wylądować, nie mam akurat zupełnie energii w chwilę moment, powiedzmy, że na takim stromym miejscu. Może byłyby jakieś interesujące jeszcze znajdźki, które się znajdują tak super wysoko, ale w sumie niczego nie widzę, więc... Chyba od razu udamy się niżej. Widzę na przykład jakiegoś save'a nieopodal w chwilę moment. Dobra, mamy i pierwszy. To skupię się od razu na tym. Jeszcze był jakoś trochę dalej, kilka jeszcze sejwów mamy, czyli w tą stronę Navigate, dobra? To też na mniej więcej tym samym poziomie, więc zobaczymy. W każdym razie, no dosyć podobna architektura jak w tym całym poprzednim miejscu, tym Summer City. Więc widać, że to jest jednak ta sama kraina, ta sama kultura. Tylko, że w tym miejscu mamy raczej miasteczko bardziej portowe. Ale też całkiem duże miasto, trzeba w tym miejscu przyznać. Więc fajna sprawa. Nie, to jest ewidencji największy update do tej pory. Nawet nie ma porównania. Może jeszcze był ten update z tym... Z tą Inazumą, tam również były aż cztery wyspy na przestrzeni całego update'u. No ale kto wie, co jeszcze zobaczymy na przestrzeni kolejnych, nie wiem, tygodni. Dobra, więc to było chyba na tyle w ramach wstępu, więc zobaczmy jak tam główna fabuła się prezentuje. Come and have a good look yourself. Traditional spices of the highest quality, made with pride and experience. <laughs> You've got a deal. I can't thank you enough for always looking after my business. Believe me, I'm not making this up. Several Eremite mercenary groups are nearly in open conflict, but does the core of 30 care? <sighs> and that's not all. Did you know that... the largest port in Sumeru. Uh, maybe it's because of what Dia told us earlier, but Baiman can't seem to shake the feeling that there's also danger lurking in these crowds. Ooh. Let's get our bearings so we can start looking for leads. We know that whatever the Academia lost is related to the gods. But other than that, we don't have much else to go on. Hmm... Osfan told us to try posing as academia students while asking around. Paimon checked the Akasha on the way here, and the academia doesn't seem to have any research facilities in Port Ormos. Paimon doesn't get it. Won't we look even more suspicious going around saying we're academia students and asking about the stolen item? Dobra, na samym początku powinniśmy się tym zająć, zanim zrobimy coś innego. Well, given all the people that come through here every day, if there's any information to be found, Paimon bets we could 
can find it in the market. Let's ask around and see what we come up with. Czyli po raz kolejny mamy kilka jeszcze miejsc do sprawdzenia, po pytania, więc zobaczmy. Welcome, welcome. Uh, how can I help you too? Ah, uh, hi there. We would like to ask you a question. Um, do students from the academia ever come to Port Ormos? <laughs> of course, especially around this time of year. Students from Sumeru City that are about to graduate often come to Port Ormos to cut loose a little. Many people often talk about how hard it is to get accepted into the academia, let alone graduate. But those who finish their studies and go on to become full-time researchers at the academia have it even harder. Sure, we may not be Sumeru City, but Port Ormos offers beautiful scenery and a stress-free environment. Some even say it's good luck to come to Port Ormos, so students and researchers come flocking here when things get to be too much at the academia. Ah, you see over there? Those are students from the academia. Wyglądają na zdenerwowanych? They've been looking worried and miserable ever since they got here a few days ago. If you ask me, the life of a merchant is better. So long as the Akasha teaches us what we need, then life is good. Hmm. Those students seem to be discussing something. Let's see if we can listen in. A, czyli mamy podsłuchiwać. Typowe dla Paimon. I've tried asking around, but I haven't been able to learn anything useful. Not to mention that a bunch of scary-looking Aramite mercenaries have been posted along the streets now. There's been a lot of fighting between the different Aramite factions in Port Ormos. If we choose to move on our own, then it would be wise to steer clear of them. Especially the group that's constantly shouting some stuff about the Scarlet King and some resurrection. I've even heard that the Citadel of Regzar is starting to get fed up with them. What was that group called again? Ein something or other? They're called Ein El Achmar. Today, I heard that the thing we're after might be in their possession at the moment. Wait, come again? Don't you see? Many of the Aramites in Port Ormos deal with trading this kind of thing. They're usually pretty wary of outsiders, but not so with students of the academia. It's because the kind of goods that students are looking for aren't the kind of goods that Aramites are after. As long as they know you're a student, then deals can be made. I've heard that Ein El Hakmar likes to set up shop at the Jafar Tavern. Supposedly, if you're willing to part with half a million Mora, they'll give you info on anything. Wait, wait, did you say half a million? If information alone costs that much, then how could we ever afford to buy what we're looking for? <sighs> I guess we might as well give up on trying to graduate this way. I wouldn't worry too much. Our field of research is very niche. Who else could possibly be after that kind of shady knowledge? I bet it's practically worthless to anyone aside from us. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Then the only thing left for us now is to find a way in. Why don't we all just pool our money together and pay for the information? Whoa! Did you hear that? A niche field of research and shady knowledge? It all sounds pretty suspicious to Paimon. Is knowledge something people just buy and sell like that? To jest podejrzana informacja. So, what's your plan? Powinniśmy udać się do tawerny. Wait, didn't you hear what they just said? Buying information is going to cost us half a million mora. Have you lost your mind? Nie, no mamy chyba. Płacimy. She'd agree to parting with that kind of mora. But if you know what you're doing, then we should give it a shot. I tak niczego nie kupuję, jeżeli zobaczymy w inventory kamane. Zaraz, zaraz, jak to się w ogóle robiło, zapomniałem. Gdzieś musi być inventory rzeczywiście i... Halo, halo, ile ja mam mory? Już totalnie zapomniałem. Jak to się sprawdzało najgorzej? A, dobra, znalazłem na samym dole. Czy rzeczywiście jesteśmy milionerami? Mamy 3,3 miliona mory. Ok, więc kupujemy informacje. Możemy całkiem dużo w sumie wykupić. Nie wiem, powinienem chyba czasami w sumie spędzać te 
pieniądze na jakiś sposób, ale w sumie rzadko kiedy potrzebuję. Dobra, teraz pytanie, jak się dostać do tej nowej tawerny? Chyba jakoś w tą stronę idziemy mniej więcej dobrze. Zaraz zobaczymy. No, o wiele więcej jakichś pojedynczych sklepików mamy w okolicy. Port Ormos jest pretty great. There's so many new and interesting things, not to mention all the tasty food. Sumeru's largest commercial port sure lives up to its name. Look at all the merchants, and everyone seems excited just to be here. No, chyba nie wszyscy. How did things end up like this? All thanks to your artistic license. That's how. I should have made you wait until we got an update from Tanja. But when I finished the prototype R&R yesterday, you agreed that the kids would like it. That's why we tried bringing it out for a test run today. Well, I never thought they'd dislike it so much. Oh, what should we do? No, proszę bardzo, ci akurat nie są jacyś super podekscytowani. Wow. Yeah. Compared to everyone else, they seem really down in the dumps. Let's go find out what's going on. Oh, hey there. Paimon's name is Paimon, and he's a traveler who is just passing by. Is there something bothering you? Oh, I noticed you two a moment ago. Welcome to Akara Crafts, the best toy store in Port Ormos. Uh, at least for now. Uh, what's bothering us is this prototype Aranara. Uh, to start with, could I uh, get your opinion on it? Prototype Aranara? Uh, you mean this wood carving here? Brzmi jak nazwa jakiejś broni? Oh no no! The prototype Aranara is something that brings joy and laughter to children, at least in theory. Not the first negative feedback we've had. So what exactly is a prototype Aranara? So for context. Aranara are magical creatures in Sumeru fairy tales that live in the forest. For the store's 20th anniversary, we plan to release a series of hand-carved toys based on the Aranara stories that kids know and love. This is a prototype we made to get an idea of how they would react. But when we put it out there, the reaction was not quite what we'd anticipated. They thought it looked like a mushroom too, huh? No, worse than that actually. I can't quite describe it though. And I'm also not very good with kids. Maybe you could ask them for yourselves. This is not an Aranara. <laughs> no way! I've read Uncle Tanja's Aranara and the Ill Little Fungus. It says that Aranara are supposed to be chubby and squishy. The carving looks nothing like that. Mm, toys do look better when they're round and chubby. Uncle Tanja said in Aranara's vow that you can deceive the eyes, but you can't deceive the heart. This carving makes me feel lost and confused inside. I don't think the creator put his heart into it at all. It's nothing like an Aranara. Ooh, didn't put his heart into it, huh? Oh, sounds like one of those things that's easier said than understood. Kasid and Alia didn't like this carving, but I think it's okay. It doesn't look too happy, so it's kind of pitiful in a cute way. Oh, a positive review! Yeah, so I would totally ask my dad to get it for me, if it wasn't meant to be a Nara Nara. Oh, well, that took a sudden turn for the worse. We asked the children for their opinions. Oh, how did it go? Uh, 
has it maybe uh, grown on them at all? No, chyba nie. Oh, this is such a shame. Uh, why isn't Tondra back from Gondarvaville yet? Oh, the kids kept mentioning an Uncle Tondra too. Who is he exactly? Uncle Tonger is a famous children's author here in Port Ormos. He wrote quite a few stories in the past, but uh, none of them were popular among children. Uh, just like our prototype Aranara. But around a year or so ago, he suddenly had a eureka moment or something. And suddenly the children loved every one of his stories. Well, that's right. My little Gafari loves his stories too. The whole reason we decided to make these carvings was because we saw just how popular the Aranara are among children. We asked Tanja for guidance, but right after he agreed, he went off to Gondarvaville with his son to look for inspiration. They haven't returned yet. We were running out of time, so we had no choice but to carve an Aranara based on our own imaginations. As you can see, this was a result. <sighs> Oh, we have to do something. Hey, since you're the famous traveler, could you do us a favor and look for Tonger in Gundarvaville, hmm? Uh, he doesn't have to come in person if he's too busy. Just ask him to write down his suggestions and bring his notes back to us, uh, if you could. Uh, please, if only to put a smile on the children's faces. Uh, and, of course, you'll be well compensated for doing us the favor. They seem pretty desperate. Hmm. Let's help them out. To see the kids smile. And also for our reward. Dobra, zrobię to tylko dla nagrody, hech. Yep, let's do it! Jeżeli ma być nagroda, to robimy. Czyli teraz misja polega na tym, żeby dostać się do Gandarvaville? Fiamen, czyli to co mieliśmy przed chwilą to jest jakaś zupełnie inna misja, fabularna, nie wiem. Więc raczej teraz nie powinniśmy iść w tą stronę, gdzie nam przed chwilą to zostało powiedziane. Story quest, ale gdzie to w ogóle będzie teraz, nie wiem w sumie. A dobra, chyba znalazłem, czyli teraz musimy jakoś w tą stronę się teleportować, więc proszę bardzo. To jest właśnie ta cała misja. I zaraz zobaczymy jak to będzie wyglądało, czy jakoś po drodze mniej więcej w granicach tego Gandarvaville, tego miasteczka ze wcześniej, no i zobaczymy. Rzeczywiście jak coś tam bohaterowie nowi stoją, więc może coś z tego wyjdzie. So Tanger's supposed to be here in Gandarvaville looking for inspiration, but how do we find him? Should we... Yell his name at the top of our lungs? To będzie wtedy alert tego Forest Rangers. Hey buddy, what's your name? What are you doing here all alone? Do you live in Gondarvaville? Regardless, don't worry. As a trainee Forest Ranger, I'll do everything I can to help you. <sighs> Hi, Miss Forest Ranger. I'm Rozzy. Don't mind me. I know the way back to Gandarvaville. When people say, don't mind me, what they really mean is don't worry about me. That's all the more reason not to leave you alone. <laughs> hey, don't cry. What's wrong? Take your time. You can tell me all about it. Huh. That voice sounds familiar. I once heard it somewhere before. Does Kalei? Oh, it's Kalei! And a child who seems to be upset. Oh, let's go say hi. Hi, Kalei. How have you been? Huh, Paimon and Traveler. Huh, I've been doing pretty well. Thanks for asking. I'm helping Master Tainari patrol the forest. What brings you here? We're here on an errand. We heard your voice, so we thought we'd come ask you for help. 
You seem kind of busy, though. <sighs> um, I'll be fine. You go help them first, Miss Forest Ranger. I'm okay, really. <sighs> the sand got into my eyes, that's all. What a well-mannered child. Nie możemy go zostawić. Trzeba wyjąć mu piasek z oczu. Sands? There is not a lot of sand in a forest. You keep saying you're okay because you don't want us to know what you're upset about, right? Maybe. That's exactly why you have to get it off your chest. Here's a trick. If you're keeping a secret that bothers you, you can try telling it all to a tree hollow. Ah. Uh. A tree hollow? Yeah, a tree hollow. Do you know Tanja's stories? The R&R living in the forest will patiently listen to every word children say. Maybe there really are R&R living in the tree hollows that will listen to you. You like the R&R stories too? Of course, I love them. Oh, people who like R&R are the best. Okay, I'll try telling my secrets to a tree hollow. Thanks, Miss Forest Ranger. You know everything. <laughs> Aw, you're just exaggerating. Anyway, I'm trying to be like my friend, who always does her best to cheer people up when they seem sad. So, how are you doing? Feeling any better now? The forest is very dangerous, so how about we stick together? Sure. Wow, Kali is so good with kids. Zrobiła to jak expert. Well, helping children who are lost in the rainforest is all part of a forest ranger's duty. So, what was it you wanted help with? You're not lost too, are you? Raczej nie. Okay. So, you're looking for a children's author from Port Olmos called Tanja. And he's here in Gandarverville, looking for inspiration. Uh, wait, when you say Tanja, do you mean THE Tanja? That's right, Uncle Tanja! So he's in the area, looking for inspiration for a new story as we speak? This is amazing. <sighs> Could you wait for me for a second? I'll run Razi back to Gandarverville and then I'll be right back. I've always been curious what the man behind those incredible stories is like in person. Może jest jakiejś, nie wiem, bogatej rodziny? <sighs> Tan just just a normal guy. Even so, he must be more creative than most people. <sighs> wait, hold on. Razi, do you mean you've met Tanja before? Mm-hmm. He's my dad. Your dad? Tanja's your dad! As in you're Tanja's son? Uh-huh. Ah! Paimon sees! That guy at Akara Crash told us that Tanja brought his son along with him. So he meant Razi! Why are you here on your own, though? Did you and Tanja get separated? I... We had an argument. I was upset, so I ran off here by myself. Oh, in that case, we should take you back to Gandarverville first. Then we'll look for your dad and tell him where you are. No, I'm I'm good. Thanks for your advice, Kale. I'm not so upset anymore. Come with me. I'll take you to him. Yay! Thanks, Razi! I meant that we'd be spending the whole day looking for him. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm actually going to meet the Tanja. Oh. What? Oh, mamy tą bohaterkę, okay. To się w sumie nie spodziewałem. I know this place pretty well. Follow me. A, na mapie mamy to zaznaczone. Chwila, moment, ale niestety nie mam żadnej, nie wiem, lepszej teleportacji. Czyli trzeba będzie po raz kolejny przejść przez ten Gandarvavel. Miejsce, w którym byliśmy już jakkolwiek wcześniej. 
E, może przy okazji tego save'a jakkolwiek odblokuję chwila, moment, to jest mniej więcej po drodze, więc sobie zobaczymy. A to chyba będzie jakoś piętro wyżej, więc to może nie będzie aż takim prostym zadaniem. No, w tych lokacjach akurat nie byłem, byłem tam piętro niżej, była jakaś zupełnie inna misja. Z tym Tainarim, czy tam jak on się nazywał. I teraz kolej misja z tą kolej, więc nie wiem, zobaczymy. Czyli proszę bardzo, kolejny save będzie jakoś nieopodal. Chwila, moment, jak się do tego dostać? Chyba trochę wyżej. No mniej więcej znajduje się na tym poziomie, co my jesteśmy. Nie, piętro wyżej jednak, więc chwilę. Chyba jakoś przy tym drzewie rzeczywiście, dobra. No, ewidentnie na samym początku warto te wszystkie save odblokowywać, żeby się szybciej teleportować. To jest super ważna sprawa. A może tędy miałbym jakkolwiek się dostać? Patrzcie na to jakieś ukryte w sumie przejścia, ale... Dobra, da przejść, nie? Zablokowane, nie da rady niestety. Chyba trzeba to jakoś od góry wykonać, dobra. Więc proszę bardzo, to jeszcze jakaś inna misja znajduje się nieopodal, ale... Po raz kolejny jest to misja poboczna, no zrobię raczej to, co, na czym skupiam się teraz. Where are you, Rosie? Someone's... Oh, Rosie! Thank goodness I finally found you. What would I do without you, my son? Were you in danger? Did the wild beasts scare you? Did the stars guide your way? Uh, I'm okay. Uh, all thanks to their help. Thank you. Thank you all! I dare say that even the most cold-hearted Spino Crocodile would be moved to tears by your kindness. Oh, it's nothing. It's all part of my responsibility as a trainee forest ranger. I'm the one who should thank you for creating so many wonderful stories for the children of Sumeru. I... Uh, I love them too! Really? I didn't know anyone read my stories apart from young children. That must mean you're still in touch with your inner child. Hmm. Okay, then. I have the inspiration for my next story. It shall be about an Aranara granny who's a child at heart. Huh? It's... Uh, it's an honor to become the source of your inspiration. Whoa. Kale looks like she's about to pass out. Uh, hey Kale, are you okay? Uh, I I'm okay. Sorry. I, I just got a little too excited. Are you two story lovers as well? Yes, yes! The moment I saw you, the image of an aura giant and an aura finch traveling together popped into my mind. Ja, po prostu mieliśmy jakąś misję tyle. Oh? Who asked for my help? My sincerest apologies, but I have fans all over Sumeru. Trying to remember every last one is like trying to identify each grain of sand in the desert. Um, seems like Kanja has a slightly exaggerated view of what it means to be a children's author. Also, Paimon's not a finch! That's nothing to get excited about! Dobra, koniec żartów, przejdźmy do biznesu. Akara Crafts. Akara Crafts. Oh! Oh, right, right. I remember now. That small boat once sailed into the sea of my memory, but before long it floated away over the horizon, never to be seen again. Perhaps for the best. After all, a wild tempest was a raging in Tanger Harbor. Um, what? Paimon has no idea what he's saying. Taksamo. What should we do? Uh, do you think we should get Tainari to take a look at him? Dad's saying he forgot about helping the people at Akara Crafts learn more about Aranara because right now he has something more important to do. Oh, that's what he meant! Well, there it is! All the proof 
he needed that this kid is definitely Tanjir's son. Wait, no, this isn't the time for all that. Tanjir, your help is pretty vital to the toy makers. You gotta do something. But the garden that blooms before my eyes is of greater importance. For therein lies the beautiful Padisara that all the children of Sumeru dream of. I, Tanjir, have found evidence of r, &R activity right here in the Avidia Forest. Conclusively proving that r, &R not only exist in stories, but in real life, too. If I manage to document the first real-life Aranara sighting, the petty problems that perplex Akara Crafts will be untangled in no time! Meanwhile, I may well be able to leverage this to assume leadership of the Academia. Then all across Sumeru will know of the great Tanjir living in humble Port Ormos! Dobra, koleś chyba odleciał już. papers myself, but I think you need to have a bunch of them approved by the review board before entering the academia. You also need a detailed and objective experiment record. Uh, anyway, Tanja, what did you mean by evidence of r, &R activity? The hook's what's important in a story. The great storyteller Tanja never gives his audience the bait right away. Come with me! Wait, not that way. Kale, what's wrong? Uh, nothing, but that way leads us deeper into the Avidia forest. I I'm just concerned for Tanja's safety. And I think I'm starting to understand why Razi and Tanja were fighting. Może chodzi o coś innego? Dobra, w takim razie misja z tym Tanja, tak zwanym, zobaczmy. Just as I expected, the promise of one of my stories has kept you hot on my heels. But this is just an ordinary tree hollow. Paimon's not seeing any evidence of Aranara. You can deceive the eyes, but you can't deceive the heart. Look with your heart and you too will understand. Um, Paimon's not sure what look with your heart means, but anyway, Investigating the area around this tree hollow. Porąbało kolesia, spójrz sercem najlepiej. Dobra, wchodzimy do środka. O to chodzi? Hey, look! There's a note here. Could this be the evidence that Tanja was talking about? Uh, the handwriting's so hard to read. It's too hard. I can't remember the names of all these mushrooms. Do I nor need to learn about mushroom classification? Here's another note that says, This tree hollow is my castle. That sounds more like something an R, &R from the stories would say. There's another one here! Hmm. If only I were a clever Aranara. A clever Aranara. Is the emphasis on clever or Aranara? Nie, wiem, to są chyba jakieś notatki od tamtego kolesia, tak mi się wydaje. A ten natomiast. Dobra, Mora, jeszcze znalazłem cudownie. Dobra, wracamy. Nie wiem o co chodzi w tym miejscu. How does it feel to bear witness to a groundbreaking discovery? Exciting, isn't it? A tam nie ma niczego nadzwyczajnego, jakieś nie wiem, drzewo przewalone i tyle. Ah, the crude handwriting may look like a child's, but don't forget, we're in the middle of a rainforest. I doubt that a child would be able to reach this deep into the forest, and I doubt even more that they would think of this lowly tree hollow as some sort of impenetrable castle. I boldly hypothesize that this tree hollow is in fact the Aranara's Academia. The notes we saw were written by the Aranara themselves. There is no doubt in my mind about that. 
An Aranara that wasn't so bright left a note here wishing to become a clever Aranara. Oh, I shall craft a new story for them and call it The Aranara in the Tree Hollow. How's that? Don't the very words just conjure up images of Aranara in your mind's eye? Uh, nope. Uh, chyba nie. Well, many an adventurer knows how to take to the skies with their easily visible wind gliders, yet they do not possess the invisible wings of imagination, making it hard for them to keep up with my train of thought. How about you, Miss Forest Ranger? Do you soar into the atmosphere on the wings of imagination? Huh? Me? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I do, but maybe not? Uh, anyway... It has nothing to do with me, so... Wszystko w porządku, kolej. Yeah, I'm fine. It's just that... Witnessing Tanja's creative process is a little... Oh. Overwhelming. Oh, yes. Yes, overwhelming. For now, I've decided to stay here with Razi until we witness the legendary moment when the Aranara appear in this hollow. Don't worry, I won't let the Akara Crafts toy makers down. When a real Aranara appears, their little troubles will be resolved in an instant. He seems pretty stubborn. Looks like we'll have to stay here and wait a little longer. No, I think we should return to our camp first. Tanja. In Aranara and the Three Little Fungus, it says that Aranara are very sensitive creatures. I don't think they'll show up if we stay here. Oh? Was that in the story? Ah, yes, I remember now. Miss Forest Ranger, you sure know your stuff. In that case, let's go back to camp and call it a day. We'll continue our search for evidence first thing in the morning. Czyli mamy poczekać, znaczy pójść w odpowiednią chwilę, odpowiednie ten miejsce jakoś tędy na mapie i, i czekamy. Od zerowej do czwartej godziny, więc proszę bardzo, to powinno chyba wystarczyć. I tyle? Co jest? Pojawiły się Aranara. It's not the Aranara. It's Kale. She's gone. Oh, Paimon's been worried about Kale since last night. Even though she kept telling us she was okay after we saw the evidence of Aranara activity, she's been acting kind of strange. Może ten Tanger był dla niej zbyt wiele. Anyway, let's go find her. Secret. Oh, right. Kale told Razi that he could tell any secret to a tree hollow. Must be because that's what she does. And now she even writes it down. Musi mieć swoje powody, Kale. Yeah, you're right. We'll keep 
keep her secret for her. Oh, looks like she's almost done writing. Let's head back. Dobra, czyli są już wszyscy. Zobaczmy. Aha! There's a new note just as I expected. Yes, yes! It's the same handwriting, which means it must have been written by the same Aranara. Let's see what it says. Ooh, what could it be? Co może być? Uh, I want to visit Mondstadt during the Ludi Harpastum again? No, th that's impossible. This must be some kind of mistake. How could an Aranara go to Mondstadt for the Ludi Harpastum? Even I would never write that into a fairy tale. So, in other words, the notes can't have been left by an Aranara. Uh, yeah. If you ask me, they were probably left by a passing merchant from Mondstadt or something. Definitely not an Aranara. No. No, I refuse to believe it. Hmm. Dobra, pomóż temu Akara Crafts. Nie mamy czasu, koleś. I can't. What do you mean you can't? It's not like it'll take you a huge amount of effort. You've written so many stories beloved by the children. I'm sure you can help create carvings that are just as successful. Wierzę w ciebie, Tanger. Come on. No! I can't do it. I thought that if I could find an R&R, I'd be able to help Akara Crafts. But it was someone from Mondstadt all along. You've managed to write all those stories without ever having seen a real R&R, right? What makes this so different? I... Uh... <sighs> Rosie... You tell them. Really? Uh... Can I? Yes, it's fine. Tell them. I know this is the moment you've been waiting for. Okay. On to wymyślił wszystko. Kale, Traveler, Paimon. Do you remember when I said that there was a secret I didn't want to tell anyone? Coś tam było. I didn't want to tell anyone the secret. But it made me feel very sad and also turned Dad into a completely different person. So... I think I should tell you. Dad isn't the one who came up with all those Aranara stories. Uh, what? Hold on. So if Uncle Tanja wasn't the author, then... Who was it? Uh, wait. You don't mean... It was me. Dad's been telling stories in Port Ormos for as long as I can remember. I always got to listen to all his new stories. Every night... Dad would give me a Zaytun peach for dinner, and I'd eat it while he told his stories. The Zaytun peaches were delicious, but Dad's stories were really bad. He always uses sentences that are really hard to understand, and... Strange, uh... Metaphors, I think they're called? But Dad kept on going, telling his stories again and again. Oh, one time, he even borrowed a camera from Lord Sange Mabe's shop and got me to take pictures of him in action. Dad showed me the picture and said that it shall become the precious record of Sumero's best storyteller early in his career. Even though I only had Zaytun peaches to eat and not so great stories to listen to, I was happy. Then one day, I tried telling Dad a story I came up with. Dad seemed really excited from the very beginning. He, he looked really happy. He lifted me up high into the air and told me to continue. He lifted me up so high that I was looking down at him. As I continued with my story, I saw his expression gradually change. And when I got to my favorite part, Dad started crying. 
I guess he must have been moved by my story. When Dad put me back down, I looked up at him again, but now he had a scary look in his eyes. You remember it so vividly! It's not only Rosie. I, too, remember every detail of what happened that day. After that, I gradually grew in fame and started making money. I became Sumeru's best storyteller, just as I always dreamed. Finally, we could afford more than just Zaytun peaches for dinner. I thought it would make Razi happy. I was really happy at first, but then everyone started calling me Tanja's son instead of Razi. I kind of guessed why, but I also didn't want to believe it. Dad got busier with things that had nothing to do with storytelling. Like that request from Akara Crafts. So I made up my mind that this time, I just want to be good old Rosie so that Dad will become good old Dad again. Instead of Dad the way he is now, starting every story with, Dedicated to my dearest Rosie. I prefer my dad how he used to be, stumbling over words and not knowing how to end the story. That's why I decided to keep how I imagine R&R &R to look like a secret. Wait! Paimon gets it now! To sum up, all of Uncle Tanger's fairy tales were actually stories written by Rozzy! And because Razi didn't want Tanja to keep living a lie, he refused to help him with the Kara Crafts Commission. Yes. That's why I tried looking for possible evidence of Aranara. But it turned out that I was just being a clown, as always. And not even a funny one. I'm a terrible father. I'm sorry, Razi. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <clears throat> and I owe you all an apology, too, for wasting your time. Rosie's the only one who can help Akara Crafts. If you can manage to persuade him, that is. Right now, I think I just want to find a tree hollow and be quiet for a while. Um, are we gonna let this happen? You want me to help a car crash with their carving? Oh, well, I did mention what the R&R look like in my stories, but to make a carving, we might need more details. Kale, Traveler, and Paimon, I might need your help on this one. I've never really left Port Ormos before. This is my first time in Gandarvaville. Well, it's my first time being so far from home. Sumeru is so much bigger than I thought. Seeing new places has given me loads of new ideas for my R&R &R stories. So I want to visit more places in Sumeru. That way, I can help Akara Crafts create an R&R &R carving that everyone will love. And I also want to take pictures of Dad everywhere that we travel to. You... You still want me to come with you? Even after all I've done? Yeah, of course. Come on, you're the best Dad ever. Ah, this is the happiest Razi has sounded since we met him. I want to thank you, Kale. do anything to help. You told me about telling my secrets to a tree hollow. Even though I didn't have the time to find a tree hollow, telling everyone my secret made me feel so much better. <sighs> yeah, it's hard to keep too many secrets. And there's no need to hide our mistakes from others all the time. I made a lot of mistakes back in Mondstadt. But when I look back on them, it all feels more like a new beginning. 
I'm sure this experience will be the same for Tanja. Yes. I'll do my best to become a good father again. Wait. Did you just say you've been to Mondstadt? Ah. Uh, um. I just. Uh. Just passed by once. Never mind that. Come on now. A counter craft is waiting for us. Let's go, Rosie. Grab that camera and see what hidden inspiration you can discover along the way. <laughs> okay, let's go. Come on, Dad. Rosie, slow down and watch your step. Dobra, musimy ich dogonić. Okej, okay, czyli za pomocą kamery możemy zrobić jakieś zdjęcia. Wspaniała sprawa i to się może później przydać do tej misji. A, czyli zrobiliśmy zadanie, się okazuje. I to już wystarczy, nie trzeba nic więcej wykonywać. Mamy tą wspaniałą kamerę. Jak z tego w ogóle teraz korzystać? Inwentory. Tu musi być jakiś, nie wiem, specjalnych przedmiotach, dobra. Switch? Jak to teraz wykonać? Pod Z. Dobra, jak zrobić teraz zdjęcie? Halo, gdzie jest Paimon? Chciałem zrobić Enter. No, to jest zdjęcie, tak jest. Dobra. To było na tyle. Czyli co, misja załatwiona. I możemy... Chyba po raz kolejny ten się teleportować, więc zobaczmy. Ten aparat się może jednak przydać do różnych rzeczy. Możemy czasami zrobić zdjęcie jakimś ciekawszym miejscówką, więc fajna sprawa. E, chwila, moment. Czyli teraz, jeżeli pójdziemy w questy, nasza główna misja znajduje się jakoś chyba tędy, tak? Ta to już jest w sumie nieopodal 120 metrów. I mieliśmy do jakiejś tawerny się w sumie udać też z naszym głównym zadaniem. Ale wiecie co, chyba w tym miejscu jednak zakończę dzisiejszy materiał, ponieważ z tego co widzę nagrywam to już około godziny, więc raczej no nie zdążę zrobić nieco więcej. Dobra, do jakimś bohaterem robić zdjęcia, jeszcze jakoś przybliżać na przykład, proszę bardzo, jakie wspaniałe chwila, moment, jeszcze bliżej. Jakoś się skupię na jakimś... Nie, to jest inna misja. Ten na przykład, proszę bardzo. Takie wspaniałe zdjęcia, jak jestem kulturalny. To będzie inspiracja dla tamtego. Co ja robię? Nie mam pojęcia. Dobra, może być. Dobra, więc jeżeli chodzi o dzisiejszy filmik, to było na tyle. W kolejnym materiale przejdziemy sobie do tej tawerny i zobaczymy kolejne misje z tej głównej fabuły. Dobra, więc to było na tyle. Ja się z żegnam. Do jutra.